Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you don't know by now, you should know that the agenda is very real. They are using media, any kind of media, to get their agenda out. They're forcing it on the world, on the masses, okay? Uh, so that is an image of a bisexual Superman. I wanted to go ahead and get the image off the screen. We don't need to stare at that too long. Uh, bisexual Superman. So they get your children all hyped up over the years with liking Superman, looking at him as a hero, and then um, he goes through an emotional thing and then all of a sudden he is bisexual. So the agenda is so real that they are using media, any kind of media that they can, whether it's television, movies, music, books, magazines, internet, cartoons, commercials, whatever they can to push an agenda. It doesn't matter what the agenda is. The, the agenda is usually something that goes against what is natural or what is the norm or what we should be doing, right? So anyway, I'm going to let you go ahead and take a listen at what they have planned for this little shenanigan and I will be right back. Superman's done a lot since he first appeared in comic books 80 years ago. He's saved the world more than a few times. He's died and come back to life. He dodged punches from Muhammad Ali and even faced off against white supremacists. Until this year though, every comic iteration of Superman has been besotted with longtime love Lois Lane. But in an upcoming issue of a new Superman series, the Man of Steel enters into a queer relationship. The fifth issue of the DC comic series Superman, Son of Kal-El will confirm that the new Superman John Kent, child of Clark Kent and Lane is bisexual after falling for Jay Nakamura, a male reporter, DC announced this week. The Superman, Son of Kal-El series follows Kent as he becomes Earth's new Superman and grapples with the immense weight of his new gig. Nakamura, a bespectacled writer with a bubblegum pink mop, first appeared in the series' third issue as a shoulder for Kent to lean on when the business of being Superman gets too rough. Right now in the world, I mean, you just heard that, right? Right now in the world, people are doing whatever pleases the flesh. Whatever makes them feel good, that is what they are doing. They don't want you to ask any questions, no scolding, no disagreement. Um, what I do is what I do, and you are to accept it no matter what it is, right? Um, it's getting to the point where you definitely have to monitor. It's actually past that point, but you definitely have to watch what your children are looking at pay attention to that some things you cannot unsee there are things that i regret ever laying my eyes on things i regret ever hearing things that i regret ever seeing so we have got to be very vigilant in this hour because the devices of hashatan satan as they call them in the christian church the devices of the devil are very real we are not to play around with this thing because they tell you something is entertainment. We usually take it at face value and say, okay, we're, we're being entertained. They've shown us this and they've said that and um, it's just for it's just kid stuff or it's, it's nothing wrong with this. It's getting to the point where people are getting so accepting of things to where they question nothing anymore. We are just so zoned out of reality of the reality of righteousness to where everything goes now. We have been totally desensitized to what is wicked and what is good. And so that's why the Bible says, woe unto them that call good evil and evil good. Because right now people are calling evil good and saying, what, what is your problem? What, why don't you like this? What's wrong with this? This is the way things are now. Change with the times, right? So we know that we are getting closer and closer to the time where they're going to tell you, look, there is absolutely nothing wrong with humans and am animals being together in that way. You know, uh, there are some areas to where it's not outlawed. So we're already getting closer and closer to that. And you see the push for trying to say that it's okay for adults to mess with children. They take baby steps and then all of a sudden out of nowhere, they take a big giant leap in a certain direction. And we're just left like, huh? What just happened, right? This is why you have incidents now where grown men with their peckers out are in the bathroom with little girls or little children 
and that child or that little girl can't say anything because the law says that he can identify as a woman today. So if she has to see this big hairy man standing next to her with stuff out, then that's her problem. Ain't that something? That's the kind of world we're living in. His rights have been violated, not hers. Sorry about that family. His rights have been violated, not hers. That's how, they, that's how they're seeing it. That's how they're trying to make it. So this is why parents have to keep their eyes open. Pay attention to what's going on, what they're presenting and calling it entertainment for children. You make that decision. Hopefully you're not one of those parents who are, is so lazy with that type of thing to where you say, well, you know, I mean, I actually saw um, some commentary on a story I recently covered where parents were actually saying they didn't see anything wrong with certain sexual content being taught at school. So you are going to have some parents who don't see anything wrong with this because this they're, they're the kind of parents who say change with the times. So anyway, I just wanted to share this image with you all and show you all what is up for the next seasons of uh, Superman so that you can opt out if you want to. Okay, I would suggest doing that. Your children don't need to see that kind of mess. Anyway, I'm done with this story. As always, I am interested in your comments. Just remember to keep it tight and keep it right. But until next time. We hope you liked today's topic. Please leave your comments below. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel, share it like this video. And with that, we're out. Be sure to ring the bell to be notified of new uploads on this channel and also comment, share, like, and subscribe.